Hello, I'm Dave Kramer, Vice President of SafeWork Manitoba, a division of the Workers' Compensation Board. SafeWork Manitoba has been a proud sponsor of the safety since its inaugural event in 2017. On behalf of the Workers' Compensation Board and my colleagues, I welcome you to this year's event. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to this year's winners of the SafeWork Awards. They truly have made a commitment to workplace safety and health. There are three categories of Safe Work Awards. The Safety Culture Award goes to the organization with a positive safety culture. Workplaces with a positive safety culture ensure that workplace hazards are addressed, safety leadership is committed, and trust and respect is essential in the workplace. Congratulations to this year's award winner, Insight Solutions. Our owner is very safety conscious. We have a safety meeting um, for our whole company every month, and I really think that gives everyone the opportunity to get the training that they need, um, but also have involvement, meet the team, be comfortable in their surroundings. We provide relevant safety training and um, slideshows, things like that, to really highlight important safety topics that are going on in our business today. With that, we try to make it really interactive we ask questions, we encourage feedback and opinions from all of the employees who are there. Our operations team is always checking up on jobs, making the appropriate updates, checking in with employees to make sure that they're doing the work safely. We really have safety at the, at the front uh, of the minds of our people at Insight. We have this opportunity to really be a part of the foundation that employees lay when they're starting off in the workforce. Um, we get to so into them habits that they'll take with them throughout their career and um, one of the most important and most critical things that we can do is have safety be a big part of that. Our people are thinking first and foremost how can I do this safely, how can the people around me do this safely and how can we ensure that we all go home at the end of the day.